The ISP GAMP RDI Data Integrity Key Concepts Guide is 192 pages of real life ways to do things. It's written by people who've tried to do this in real life. We've all pulled our experiences and our knowledge together and created really practical hands-on approaches. Here's how to avoid the headaches that we had the first time we tried to do this. Here's how to do something that will actually work and can be implemented in a real life organization. And there's 23 appendices. Many of them are case studies looking at those specific topics of how to address specific issues and giving you ideas of how to look at that and ways of thinking about it. So to me, one of the best bits in the guide is the section on using risk management with understanding computerized systems that are perhaps out of date. And that section is so very hands-on and practical. And I know it's a problem most companies are wondering how to deal with today. The guide has been reviewed by industry sponsors, CROs, regulators of what are the best practices and how should we attack these issues. So one of the questions we've been getting about releasing the new guide is why are there now two GAMP guides talking about data integrity? GAMP 5 is a guide that deals with system lifecycle. It deals with computerized systems and it's a very high level guide full of concepts and principles. And comparable to that within data integrity was the records and data integrity guide, which again was a high level guide on data integrity principles and looking at data life cycle. Now, of course, when you want to go and do something in real life and you want to be practical and hands on, you need a more detailed level of guidance. So underneath GAMP 5, we have GAMP Good Practice Guides that say this is how you deal with a particular part of the life cycle, so maybe the testing part of the system life cycle, or there's good practice guides on particular areas like laboratory systems. And comparable to that, the new guide, which is the ISPE GAMP Records and Data Integrity Key Concepts Guide, sits under the Records and Data Integrity Guide and really gives a more practical approach to some of the issues within data integrity and discusses more of the key concepts for data lifecycle that were discussed in the Records and Data Integrity Guide. So the Data Integrity Key Concepts Guide is going to provide practical advice whether you are a vendor designing technical features into your system for data integrity, whether you are a service provider offering cloud platforms and infrastructure, or whether you are a manufacturing organization trying to manage and protect your GMP data. It also has applications for CROs and the clinical space, because data is essential. The guide will give you some information that will help you develop your program and implement strategic process.